Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come on Hey guys, what is up? It's me, the All Gamer. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna be bringing you a last story, life story, yeah. So, um, sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Now, I'm just waiting right now for this to hurry up. Yay, waiting. Okay, so, um, this life story. It happened this summer and last summer for, because I, I go to this, um, summer camp. Not camp, what am I saying? It's a summer school. And so there at the summer school we have um at the end of the year we have raffle like this raffle and so it's held in the stadium and not stadium what the heck am I saying uh my head's all over the place today but it's held in the gym and so there they offer um, we use TVs not for a ton of stuff but whatever yeah, you, you know what I mean. They offer TVs, they offer Xbox Ones, um, PS4s, Kandamas? Well, at the time, Kandamas. Um, oh, what else do they offer? Well, you know what I mean. They offer things. So, um, you would get tickets each time you, like, did a good thing. You would, um, you got something good, you got a good grade on your test. You know, the usual. And if, if, like, you know, the whole system, if you get more tickets, you have a higher chance of winning. So there I am, getting my tickets like a normal person. And I see little kids. The little kids, like, probably not even sixth grade, not even fifth grade, I think. Okay, we're just calling fifth grade and lower. I see them with hands full of tickets almost like what the heck I don't even have that many tickets myself I'm such a good student JK I'm not but I mean I would get good grades on my tests and whatever I would get the occasional ticket but no I not have that many tickets as the little kids did they had rolls and rolls on their hands and I found out that there was this teacher at least, this is what one teacher did, I don't know all the others. But this one teacher, she gave away a hundred tickets each time. I mean, the, on the first day. That's a ton load of tickets. I don't want to like swear, but... That's a lot of tickets. I mean, for a kid especially. And she would give, a, she would give away 20 tickets each time you appeared to class. So like, each time you went to class, 20 tickets. And the thing that ticks me off the most is that they have to do no work, nothing, and they get like a shitload of tickets. And so we have to like go through the sweat and pers perspiration, perspiration, whatever, of actually studying for tests, doing good deeds, and whatever. And all they have to do, show up to class, get your materials. Be a good little kid and listen to the teacher. And voila, perfect recipe for tickets. Um, this video is going to be kind of short because it's not like a big life story, but I feel like I had to get out of my system too. So, there we are, the last day of school, yeah, around there. Me and my friends, some of my friends from um, my school, my... Yeah, it's cool. They went to some program, so they know what I'm talking about. And so, there we are. We're walking to this um, gym, all hyped up, you know, well, we're going to get that pri those prizes. And so, yeah, we go in casually. Everybody's already there. Like, yeah, cause some people get dismissed earlier than others. So, yeah, there we are going to find our seats. We're all hyped up. Everybody around us is hyped up. Um, and so yeah, we sit down, we listen to like the little speech that they give before actually giving out. So everybody's like, oh, I want to get the MacBook Air, oh, I want to get the PS4, oh, I want to get the Xbox, I don't know, whatever. Those just like little iPods and whatever. 
so then um yeah there comes a moment to get the the um, prizes so they, they get this giant um bucket thing container whatever they dump in all the tickets from all grades all classes yeah like the usual but this is a part that ticks me off the most our raffle is shared with the little kids and so what happens is I'm fine with sharing it with the little kids except what they do is not fine they put in the little kids tickets um, last meaning their tickets are last I mean are like on top and the thing is they don't even go deep into the bucket or whatever they just like barely skim it they make it look like they do but they don't so since all the little kid tickets are on top well and if they barely skim the top of the raffle thing well then they just got the perfect recipe to success okay so I mean you can tell well when I saw it I could tell they barely skim it but okay so there they are getting out the first kid I think he got the um, an iPod yeah it was a little kid of course he got an iPod okay yeah, that was okay I'm, I'm not too triggered yet and then next kid I think he takes the other iPod but whatever it was a little kid I was like okay maybe co coincidental um, mistake to little kids okay next kid it's a bigger one like it's like sixth grade I consider that kind of little kid but it, it, at least it's someone else different she gets the um, what was it again uh, they should got a Wii U. Yeah, there's like five Wii U's right there. I'm like, holy crap. How did they get all this money? I'm like, oh wait. They got it from us. Because like, the institution is not free. It's like, I think a thousand dollars? Yeah? So, imagine, um, a school full of kids. There's like, a lot, from all grades. I'm pretty sure they cost less for the little ones, but either way. That's like, I don't know, they probably have millions. Okay, I'm exaggerating, not millions. Thousands, but you know what I mean. Actually, you never know. Could be a million too. But whatever. So, yeah, they already have, they have like, I think, five we use and like whatever. So then, next kid. Um. It's a little kid, obviously. So what he gets is the PS4, and I think it had Call of Duty in it, Black Ops 3. A little kid, like I wouldn't say he's fifth grade, third grader, or but he got the PS4. And it was like, no, you shouldn't have gotten it. I think this was like last year. Yeah, yeah, this was last year. So then, um, this year, um, a bigger kid got it, but still, a lot of little kids were, were um, being chosen. So then, last year, um, they also had, they, they also give away two TVs. Well, one TV this year, one TV last year, but whatever. Um, it's like 50 inch? Yeah, yeah, 50 inch. The box is pretty big. And so, this year, yeah, after everything was taken, you know, Xbox, little kid. Another iPod, little kid. MacBook Air, little kid. I'm like, what's a little kid? Not even like element, well not elementary, I mean not even like middle school. It's gonna do with a MacBook Air. Or what's a little kid gonna do with a PS4? Call of Duty. I bet you like the parents are gonna like see the box, look at the child, look at the box again. Drive off to the nearest donation center and just place it there while he's not looking. And so, yeah, after everything was taken, blah blah blah, then came the TVs. Last year, a little kid took it. This year, a little kid. 
Hey guys, I'm sorry I had to cut it, something like happened. So, let me continue. So yeah, there they are. It was the little kid, of course, who took a TV this year. Last year, too. So last year, it was 50 inch, same thing. And the funny part is, not that the little kid took it, but that after school when um, it ended, the little kid needed help to put the box into his car. Parents' car. And so, they needed help. They asked help from the, uh, um, the TAs, the well, teacher assistants. And it was just so funny. Seeing the little kids struggle. I mean, not just struggling, but you know what I mean. It took like, I think about an hour actually. I was there until the end. And like, little kid was just, they were just trying to um, cram it in there and they just couldn't. It was funny. This year, same thing happened. They tried to cram it in. And well, this time didn't take that long like last time, but it still took a while. And well, yeah. And the thing that's like kind of irritating is that we have to share it with them. And since they get a ton more tickets than we do, it's kind of unfair for us. I mean, I kind of said this before already, but... Like, yeah, it's unfair because we have to go through the sweat and suffering to get tickets. They don't. And so, like, what I think they should do is have two separate raffles. One for the little kids and one for the bigger kids. There, therefore, we are all happy. I mean, like, yeah, really, um, the little kids, they're all, like, hyped up, and like, yeah, we're gonna get something, we're just like, uh, little kids are gonna get something, I mean, yeah, people were hyped, but not, like, overly hyped, us little kids, you should've seen the faces on little kids, they weren't even surprised, but yeah, only, like, two big kids actually got something, and the rest are all little kids. Yeah, that's why I kind of wish I could be a little kid at the time in summer school. Be like, yeah, raining and t it's raining tickets. And the other thing is that the teachers, they have to finish a roll of tickets. If they don't, I really don't know what happens, but I know that they have to finish it or something. So like on the last day they were giving us all tickets and whatever, and oh yeah, so yeah once everything was over blah blah, TV's taken, everything taken by little kids. This the people that were big bigger kids they got like Wii U's but whatever. At the end, we actually all got something. Not what I wanted but I guess something. It's okay. We got coupons to this cake shop that we've never even heard of before. I'm just like, yay. And then the coupon, um, I know I pause a lot because these are not scripted, but the coupons, I think they were for like um, one free, really small cake. Um, yeah, one free really small cake. Um, and that's it. I'm just like, really? We, we wasted our entire summer trying to get tickets. And all we get in the end is this crappy, cheap coupon to get a free cake at a place we've never even heard of before. It's like, great. Little kids are taking over. Okay, so yeah, that was the end. Um, this is not the best script I've done. I mean, not script. What am I saying? Life story. But I just feel felt like I needed to share with you guys. I know. I just, 
I'm doing pretty bad at this right now because I'm really not paying attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a nice day. If you're new to the channel, please check out my videos. I do this for the sole purpose of you guys. Thank you for everything, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Set this already, whatever. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm actually um, planning on releasing a sci-fi novel. Um, don't know when. Um, I have a friend that's doing the same. Um, I'll put him in the description below. And well, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, the I'll give you more details later about the sci-fi novel. It's gonna be called Delta. It's gonna be a trilogy, of course. And well, yeah. See you all later. Let me just get the skill. Dang it! No scope.